It was the era during which the Pittsburgh Steelers dominated America's game. The Steel Curtain, Bradshaw, Franco, Stallworth, Swan, Knoll, and so many more. Elevated Pittsburgh to dynasty status and enthroned its legacy forever. It was the Super 70s during which they racked up four rings. For many, memories take the form of faded instamatic photos and Polaroids stuck in an old photo album. But for those who lived it, the recollections are personal, funny, and poignant. To relive the glory days, we head to the South Hills. What's up, Fan Nation? 412 Fanatic Eric from Brookline. And we're going straight from Fan Nation to Yenzer Studios, where we gather some of the biggest deal of fanatics this side of the Monongahela. I got my Yenzer fam, Chris Riskus and Bobby Keys, and it's unbelievable. They're even bigger fans than myself. We're talking Super 7. First Super Bowl, IX, 75. What do you remember from that game? Super Bowl nine was very personal to me. Uh, my father was a Pittsburgh firefighter. That morning I called into work and he was unable to watch the game with me, which upset me a lot. After the Steelers won, maybe two hours later that a fire actually occurred in our neighborhood, I went to the fire scene to watch the fire, but then I saw a silhouette walking towards me. And he had a Steeler emblem on his helmet. And he walked towards me and he pointed at the emblem and he said, how about those Steelers? And he tapped me on the side of my face. And when I did get home, we had a big mirror in our living room, and I could still see the soot stain across my face. So that's what I remember about Super Bowl IX. The next year, 76, the back-to-back, -back. did the celebration change? We took even more pride in what we had, and we were also looking towards the future. And we won that first Super Bowl. I think that put so much hope into this city. I'll be honest, Bob, I don't, I don't think that Pittsburgh knew how to celebrate. A lot of steel workers were being laid off, being let down. The Pittsburgh Steelers became the salvation of the citizens of the city. It brought everybody up to a higher level. I mean, it, no matter what you were doing in your day, you, you thought you could succeed. God, what a team that was. 17 Hall of Famers played in this game. Probably one of the greatest assembly of players the NFL has ever produced. Mike Wagner, Lynn Swan, John Stallworth, Dorsett, Franco. Then you have Landry and you got Noel as the coaches. I mean, it was amazing. Hollywood Henderson's out there. He insults Terry Bradshaw, said if he's fought in the CNA, he still couldn't spell cat, you know? And so he, Terry says, hey, just ask him if he can spell MVP, right? That's right, that's right. He gave it right back to him. Absolutely. All I know is I think back to that time, that era, there was a ton of those terrible towels everywhere. It was out earlier, like in 75, 76, but I think in 79, it really took off. They told Myron, find a gimmick. We want to electrify this city. What are we going to do? He comes up with this terrible towel. I want to see gold towels at that next game. <laughs> Starts waving around. People were laughing from other cities. How fast did that grow, right? Oh, yeah. You look at any of these other cities nowadays, they all got their own top, but it's nothing like the terrible top, <laughs> right, Myron? No. <laughs> no way! No way! So that's it, Fan Nation, from the fans who lived it, the Super 70s. And oh, before we kick off next season, here we go! go.